Welcome, Texas Gunsmith here. And today we're going to be looking at two different style stock adapters for a stamped AK. Uh, on the left side here, we have the Kinesis AK to M4 style stock adapter. And if we go on the other side, we have an Ace style stock adapter, and it may actually be from Ace as well as the eggplant uh, sling adapter that Ace does sell and the CAR15 uh, pig nose adapter, which is definitely from Ace. The only thing I'm not sure is it, I bought this from Caroline Shooter Supply and it does match up with the ace adapter and i i know it's made to work with other adapters as well including uh, if we look up here the folding stock adapter i have on in, on the mill day k it should work with all of those uh it's just looking at ace's website which i believe is riflestocks.com i can't find this exact part uh, this one here is more designed for Segas as we have uh, four holes, two on each side. And on a Sega, uh, you have two holes on each side of the receiver that are plugged with uh, fake plastic rivets. Uh, I, I pop those out and uh, are... Uh, our new receiver blocks for the stock adapters will slide into there and can be screwed into there, but not all AKs have that. So some of them are going to use the mounting holes in the top. And, uh, and the Kinesis isn't designed for just a Sega, but uh, it does have the holes drilled in it. Now, if you look at their website, their website hasn't been updated. You won't find those two holes when you look at the picture. But when you receive the part, it does have them. However, it's not the only way to mount it. We have a hole in the top here. And if we take it and slide it, we can see that hole lines up with the rear block in the receiver and what you do is this this barrel nut here slides into the hole and you screw the allen screw down inside now <clears throat> uh, on the Kinesis we can leave the rear tang on as the rear tang slides up inside and we can screw our uh, buffer tube for the stock on the back of that with the ace style and ace makes some other ones that are similar that take a, a little barrel nut uh, depending on the configuration they offer a couple different kinds for uh, stamped receivers uh, i just didn't happen to notice this one on their site and i was looking for it so i don't know if it, if it did come from ace or if uh, Carolina Shooter Supply manufactured it themselves to install on there. And, and if you ever look at their website, they don't really tell you the manufacturer of their products. So I don't know if that's a secrecy thing or what, but they just tell you what the product does and what it fits. So at any rate, uh, this style, you would have to cut the, the tang off to get it to fit. And... Uh, like I said, some of them have the barrel nut down inside, so you have to look at what you want. If you have a Sega, I would go to Carolina Shoot and Supply and uh, buy this one as it has the four screws. And uh, you could cut that off, to cut the tang off if you were interested. So if you don't want to cut the tang, then I would go with this. But they're not the only considerations. The, the one thing I found is... Uh, you have to think about what kind of sight or optics you may want to use. Uh, the Kinesis is going to sit slightly higher. Uh, so if you're running optics that are above what the uh, backup iron sights are, then I, I think the Kinesis is the better option. 
if you want to use iron sights and you have a real low optic, uh, you may want to choose the A style because where the pig nose adapter fits will be be a, a little bit lower and let you get down on the sights more. If you choose to use the uh, folding stock adapter from Ace, the that will also raise up your sight picture also. But as we've discussed before, not everyone can use folding stock adapters as it's, I know in California, illegal. It has to be fixed. So uh, those are some of the considerations. Uh, they do come with some hardware for mounting. The Kinesis, uh does not come with the four screws. You need to purchase them yourself. And they're 10 by 32 screws. Uh, you can easily find them at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's. And we found some that'll fit, but we, half inch is the shortest ones they sell. And in doing some pre-checks, I know I have to cut the screws to get it to fit. The other thing you'll need to pick up for either adapter is a longer bolt for your pistol grip. So the pistol grip bolt uh, uh, screws into this nut, which will need to fall down in here. And that, that raises the height of the nut versus the nut being just down in the bottom of the receiver. So you will need a longer bolt. And the bolt size, let me see if I got it here. Do, do, do. Yeah, this is it here. So we got, at least for this, this rifle is a M6-1 by 30. So that, that we found would be the right length for what we need. But depending on what your rifle is, you know, what manufacturer and all, maybe it has different threads. So you have to figure that out when you go. Uh, the, the one thing that I, I found was nice is we did have a... Uh, with Ace, you got to buy all the parts separate. So uh, we had bought this previously to have a look, and it didn't match up with the folding stock adapter screws. But on this one, it does. It matches up right. It doesn't hang down. So that that's a plus. Uh, and with using the uh, CAR15, you do have a set screw on the bottom, so you can get your uh, buffer tube. Uh, centered and square with the barrel when that's mounted so uh, at any rate we figured we'd show you some differences for those who are thinking about uh, trying some stock adapters what we're gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with the Kinesis because uh, <clears throat> I, I don't really need a folding stock adapter and uh, I don't really have a need to cut the tang I also prefer optics that are a little bit taller. Now in doing some pre-checks, I can nearly get down on the irons with the Kinesis, but I'm slightly high. So I'm sure I'm gonna have to raise up the, uh, the front sight post a little bit. So I'm nearly there, but I am slightly high. Uh, my cheek is, that is. Uh, with my cheek wad, I'm a little bit high when I set that in there. So I think if I adjust the front sight post up a little bit, I'll be able to get down on it. With the Ace, I could definitely get down on it, and you know it, the slots are adjust the slots are adjustable, so you can kind of maneuver it a little bit. The only problem is, is you can you cannot get enough height or get quite as high as you can with the Kinesis with this particular style. So just some considerations. So, anyway, we hope we gave you some information. Thanks for watching. Texas Gunsmith out.